take a moment to close our eyes, palms resting on the leg. And take a moment, scan the physical body starting from the crown of your head, just moving down, noticing any areas of tension this morning. Relax the shoulders down away from the ears. Keep scanning the body down, the spine. Into the hips. Notice any different sensations from side to side. Without judging, just observing. Until you've scanned all the way down to your toes. And do that one more time on your own, starting with the crown of the head. Sweeping an awareness of the physical body, relaxing any areas of tension all the way down to your toes. And simultaneously, feel energy moving from the tailbone up the spine, as if you just got taller, draw an awareness up the spine up through the crown of the head towards the sky above. And from here, bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Taking a deep inhale, feel the breath pouring in from the top, filling the chest and the ribs and the belly. And as you exhale, squeeze the breath out, starting with the belly drawing in first, then the ribs and the chest soften. And continue a few more breaths, pouring in on the inhale, and squeezing out on the exhale. So I want you to elongate your breath now. Consciously feeling as you breathe in that pure, clean oxygen entering the body, oxygenating the blood cells. And then as you exhale, you're breathing out the CO2, the stuff that's not needed in the body. A cleansing breath four more times with that awareness. Go ahead and relax your hands and your breath. Place both hands to the heart. And we'll begin with three ohms, allowing this ohm to be a vibration to connect us to all of nature around us as the birds are singing their song this morning. <laughs> and also this resonating, nourishing the thyroid and the thymus gland. So taking a deep inhale all together. Oh. Again, inhale. Breath. Let's go 
Hamilton and transition, starting in a high knee stance for Vagrasana. So I like to use the blanket for padding on the knees. And so you're going to come to a high knee stance, and I want you to feel like you're standing on the shins. So equal weight on the shins, toes are relaxed. And again, just take a moment, scan the whole body, crown of the head, down to the shins and the toes, and feel that deep support where you're touching the earth. And then simultaneously, I want you to feel energy up the spine, and as if you're zipping up a tight pair of jeans, I want you to draw energy from the pubic bone to the navel. Notice how that makes you feel taller and more energized. Bring that energy up into the crown of the head. Now slowly bring your palms face up. We're going to stretch the arm line here. Feel energy out through the fingertips. And I want you to imagine in this position that the arms are extensions of the heart center, connecting you to all of the beauty around you. As you start to slowly bring the arms overhead, I want you to pause if you feel more tension building in the neck and shoulders. So it's okay if the arms aren't straight, I want you just to bend the elbows and feel where your arm position is going to be today. And be honest. Let's bring the arms down one more time. Let's just explore that. Sweeping the arms out to the side. Start with the palms up. Shoulder blades down the back. Find where your position is going to be today. I'm going to have my arms just slightly bent. And then from here, I want you to zip up the abdominals again. Draw the belly in. Bring your hips back towards the heels as you sweep your hands towards the lower back. Forehead to the floor. You can also bring a bolster there. And then on your next inhale, I want you to lead with the heart by squeezing the shoulder blades together, coming back up, and then bringing the arms up and overhead. So that's your inhale here. As you exhale, draw the belly in, sweep the hands down, forehead towards the floor. And we're going to add a head turn. Head is center as you inhale, shoulder blades down the back, coming up. Now this time as you exhale, turn your head to the right and sweep the hands to the back. Same position, stretch the neck and shoulders. Again, inhale, head to center as you come up, shoulder blades down the back. Turn your head to the left now as you exhale. Tighten the belly for support in the lower back. I'm going to do two more times. Inhale, coming up. And exhale, head to the right, exhaling down. Last time. Inhale, coming up, head to center. Work at your own breath pace. If you're moving faster, go faster or slower. Exhale all the way down. Head to center again. Inhale, coming all the way up. And then releasing the hands as you exhale. Go ahead and grab your block. Place the block to the front of your mat. Yeah, and it's warm here. I think I'm going to take my shirt off as well. And I apologize if I have to put my little hat on. I know you might not be able to see me, but <laughs> there's only so much some block can do, right? So I want you to feel this earth connection as you bring the right leg forward. This is like warrior one position. So when the knee is bent, I want you to keep the knee in line with the ankle and not come forward. But I want you to still feel a stretch in the front hip flexor. So some of you could probably elongate the stance as you bring the knee forward. That might allow you to feel a little more of a stretch. The block is here, um, bringing the floor a little bit closer to you. So if at any point you need the block for stability, use that. Now you want to still feel the hips symmetrical. So notice if you're kind of leaning to one side, I want you to drop that right hip down. And that's going to be the place that we kind of come to. And let's place the right hand to the thigh for a little more stability today. We're going to go ahead and straighten the leg. And we're going to add the breath. Left arm comes up on your inhale. 
Draw that left shoulder blade down the back. And then as you exhale, draw the belly in and palm releasing down. Three more times. Inhale, come forward. And exhale, release. Belly drawing in. Two more times. Shouldn't feel any tension in the knee, so come out of it if you do. Exhale, belly in, releasing. Last time, let's bring both arms with you. Inhale, up. Now we're gonna stay here as you exhale, draw the belly in for support, but I want you to repeat that same arm position, bend the elbows if you feel any tension in the neck and shoulders. Otherwise, your arms can stay a little bit higher. Keep breathing, two more breaths. Can you feel a little lifting in the heart center as the shoulder blades release down? Feel that earth connection as the heart lifts up. And on this next exhale, draw the belly in, bring your hands to the floor or to the block. We're gonna relax the breath. I want you to straighten the front leg and just go ahead and explore in a one-legged forward bend if it feels better to have the toes up where the heel grounds down or with the toes down. And sometimes in yoga, it's not necessarily what feels better in the sense of what's easiest, but better in the sense of where you're feeling the sensation that needs a little more breath and space. So it might be the tighter direction. Now see if you can relax the neck and shoulders, drop your head from side to side. I want you to Pause and breathe into the stretch that you're going to stay in. Again, that right hip moving back. Yeah. Make sure there's no tension in the wrists if the palms are down. And then from here, go ahead and bend the front leg. Let's move the block to the side for a moment. Now you're going to start to slowly walk that right foot back. And we're going to come to a kneeling position where the palms are under the shoulders, knees under the hips. And again, I want you to feel this real earth connection. Spread your fingers wide. Notice what part of the palm is not touching the ground. Knees under the sit bones. And as you inhale, I want you to lift the heart forward as you draw the shoulder blades down the back. As you exhale, draw your belly in, lean all the way back towards the heels, soften the elbows, bring your forehead to the earth. And then again, inhale, come forward again. And exhale back. And let the weight of the head release. Two more times, inhale forward. Belly drawing in as you exhale. Yeah, let the weight of the head release all the way as you move back. Last time. <coughs> and exhale, releasing back. Now let's stay back and bring your hands again to the lower back. As you inhale, lead with the chest. Sweep the palms up again. In the kneeling position and then release the hands down to move to the other side. So this time left leg coming forward, option block in front, and let's just check the alignment as you bend the front leg. Knee stopping on top of the ankle. If you feel discomfort in the knee, make sure you're coming to the front part of the kneecap where the kind of the quadricep meets the knee. So let's place the left hand to the thigh, and then again, just make sure you're feeling some kind of support and symmetry in the pelvis. So from here, let's go ahead and straighten the front leg to begin. On your next inhale, right arm floats up, right shoulder blade down the back, heart lifting. As you exhale, release back down, belly drawing in. Three more times. Breathe in that nice air this morning as you inhale. And exhale, release. Two more times. Feel that stability in that left sole of the foot as you come forward. And exhaling, releasing. This next time, both arms overhead. Inhale, come into the position and stay here. Again, let's bend the elbows a little bit today. 
I want you to squeeze the shoulder blades together so you're feeling more of a lifting of a heart, like cobra position. Now a couple more breaths and really add that abdominal support. Keep breathing, smile. One more breath. And then from here, let's go ahead and release. Hands coming to the floor or to the block. And again, straighten that front leg. Explore toes facing up, more connection with the heel to the mat, or toes down. And this side might need a little bit of a different stretch. So just do that a couple more times. And then I want you just to feel where needs that breath this morning. And stay there. Connect with your breath. Imagine the breath moving into those tight muscles. As you exhale, draw your belly in, sink deeper into the forward bend. Let the weight of the head release. Two more breaths. Left hip drawing back. And then from here, bend the front leg. Let's move the block to the side. And baby steps. So this is really the movement's coming from the hip almost as you slowly move that left leg back. So this time, knees in the same position, but this time your palms are actually going to come a little bit further in front. But I want you to feel that same earth connection with the palms. So from here, tuck the tailbone under. Move back into an extended child's pose without moving the palms. Now from here, we're going to move nice and slowly. I want you to actually lean your hips forward. Come back to your kneeling position. Now keep energy in the arms as you bring your pubic bone down towards the floor. Now draw your belly in and lift the heart up. Draw the shoulder blades down the back. Nice deep inhale here. And as you exhale, again, back into that extended child's pose. Feel the whole spine yawning this morning, getting longer. Three more times. Inhale. Come forward. Make sure you don't lock in the elbows. You can a little micro bend. Lift the heart up. Exhale. Draw the belly in and moving back. Inhale forward. Feel the whole front line of the body stretching. The hip flexors, the belly, all the way up into the heart. Exhale, rounding back. Last time. We're going to stay in the pose. Inhale forward. Now stay. Draw the belly in. We're going to curl your back toes under here. We're going to straighten the legs and lift your sit bones all the way up into downward dog. We're going to start with the knees nice and bent. And I want you to push the palms away as your sit bones lift up. Breathe. And from here, bring your knees back down to the floor. I want you to rest back in child's pose. So the arms are going to come all the way back towards the ankles. Forehead resting towards the floor of the block. Go ahead and just circle the wrists a couple times each direction. Stretching into the fingers. And then again, bringing your arms forward again. So keep your palms glued where they are again. Lift your heart center as you come forward, but stay on your hands and knees. Don't come into that upward dog. I want you to lift the shoulders up, back, and down. So feel there's a little bit of a back bend here, and we're actually going to take that same feeling into downward dog. So first, look at your elbows. This is inner rotation where the elbows kind of roll out. You can even exaggerate that. And then what we're looking for is a little bit of external rotation. So the elbows kind of squeeze in, and the upper arm externally rotates. So again, feel that energy drawing the shoulder blades down the back. And then curl the toes under. And again, come into downward dog. Stay here for four breaths. This time the heels can start to come down to the ground. Yeah. Now keep pushing the whole palm into the, 
to the mat. Make sure you're feeling that earth connection. Now as you exhale, draw the belly in. Two more breaths. I know it's strengthening in the arms. Do what you can. Come out of it sooner. And this last time, you're going to bring your knees back down to the earth. This time, we're going to stay to a kneeling position. Come all the way up again. And just roll the shoulders up, back and down. So downward dog is nice and strengthening for the arms, but you can kind of feel that there's a tendency sometimes to bring a little too much tension here. So until you kind of find that nice alignment, I want to do some ample counter posing here. So you're going to bring the right hand behind you. We're going to do that same forward bend, but we're going to add a little left and right um, movement with the arms. So you're going to mirror me. On your inhale, bring your left arm up. As you exhale, turn your head to the right, draw the belly in, sweep the hands to the lower back, temple towards the mat. Bring your head to center as you inhale, right arm comes up. Again, palm up. As you exhale, turn your head to the left. Draw the belly in. Release any tension in the neck and shoulders. We're going to do this four more times. Shins ground down into the earth. Left arm up as you inhale. And exhale, head to the right. Again. Right arm, head to center. Exhale, head to the left. One more time, each side. As you continue with the left arm up, notice if there's any wobbling from side to side, but see if we can keep the spine in center as you sweep the hand to the lower back and bring the temple to the ground. So that's where that abdominal support is really helpful. Again, right arm up last time. Head to the left, exhale. Now let's go ahead and stay down. Bring your forehead all the way to the ground. Pause and breathe. Both hands to the lower back to transition. Come all the way up to a kneeling position, both arms overhead. High knee stance. And we're going to stay on the knees bringing the right leg to the side. So we're going to start to open up into the hip. Again, if you want to use the block, actually for the this position, the block is actually the more advanced position. Otherwise, you stay up using the hand on the thigh. And I want you to feel the difference as you squeeze the inner thigh, the inner part of the knee in towards the hand, and the hand in towards the inner knee, there's a sense of stability all of a sudden. You can feel that in the inner thigh and the outer hip. Now make sure there's no tension in the neck and shoulders as you do this. This is actually to help stretch the neck and shoulders. You're going to start to bring that left arm up and over and you can place the hand to the block or keep the hand engaged to the inner thigh. Now from here I want you to dome the left ribs towards the sky. Each exhale, the belly draws in for support. Now, as we continue, I want you to feel where your neck wants to look. Do you want to tuck your chin and look under the armpit, or do you want to gaze down to the floor? And you're going to stay with that neck turn position as we continue. On your next exhale, I want you to draw the belly in, and you're going to contract that left side of the waist, squeezing the elbow down, kind of like a lap, lap pull. And then as you inhale, I want you to come into that position and stretch even more. As you exhale again, belly draws in, coming up, lap down, far pull. See where you can contract. And inhale, extend. And one more time. Up on the exhale. Let's tuck the chin down here just to stretch the neck and shoulders. Inhale, come into the position and stay. So here, if there's tension in that left shoulder, you can sweep the hand to the lower back and gaze down. Keep breathing. Yeah, I love that variation with the tucking of the chin just to release that left side of the neck and shoulder. Now I'm going to go ahead and come up 
let's by bringing that right arm up. Go ahead and take a moment, come back to center, and left hand, or left leg out. Look at the alignment, left heel in line with that right knee. And again, option to use the block. Or the left hand comes to the inside of the thigh, regardless till you start. Take a moment, feel what parts of your body are touching the floor. Feel the spine still tall. And on your next inhale, right arm up and over, doming the ribs up. Repeat that same neck variation. As you exhale, come up and contract the right side of the waist. And then inhale, extend. And two more times. Coming up as you exhale with abdominal support. And each time you inhale, look at where it can create a little more space in the hot side of the heart center. Let's do one more time. Feels like we need to do one more time to balance that out. Up on the exhale. This next time we'll stay in the actual lateral stretch. Inhale, come into the pose. Get hand engaged to the inside of the thigh or hand to the block. Breathe here. Again, if there's tension in that right neck and shoulder, any sensation of pinching, bring the right hand to the lower back. Deep tuck of the chin towards the left neck and shoulder. Keep breathing and with each exhale, draw the belly in for support. Choose the option that's appropriate. Nice deep breath. One more time. Let everybody Right hand to the lower back as you inhale, left arm floats up. And then releasing. Bring both knees to parallel and come back into that extended child's pose. So in the extended child's pose, I want you to feel both sides of the waist equally elongating. And just take a couple deep breaths, feeling the lungs, the movement in the rib cage as you breathe. Now from here, keep your palms glued where they are. Again, come forward to your hands and knees. Let's practice that external rotation of bringing the elbows in, shoulder blades down the back, lift the heart. One more time, we're gonna come into downward dog, curl the toes under. Lift your sit bones up and focus on the whole spine getting longer here. Four more breaths. Make sure you're not sticking your chin forward. Keep the ears inside and lined with the upper arm. Couple more breaths. Feel that length in the sides of the waist. Keep pushing the palms into the front of the mat. Heels moving back towards the heat, the mat as well. And then go ahead and release, bringing the knees to the ground. We're going to come all the way onto our belly. Your blanket might want to be a little more forward. And then just do a little yoga push-up to lower yourself on the way down. And go actually ahead and watch for a second because we're going to bring some of these arm positions and leg positions. So. The legs are going to first stay grounded. Without the legs, we're going to do a little salute variation with the arms. Really important that you feel the squeezing of the shoulder blades here. And then we're adding that same neck and head turn as we come down. And this should feel really good if you have neck and shoulder tension. And then we're going to just move to the other side. But watch as we continue. When we come up, we're going to engage the glute muscles and we're going to add the opposite leg extension, okay? If you feel tension in the lower back, use that same core work where you kind of draw the belly in first, and then it'll be more of an upper body work versus like just pinching where you're most mobile in your lower back. So let's start um, first just with the arm movement and the legs are energized, but we're not gonna lift them. So let's go ahead and draw the belly in, feel that support for the lower back. 
hands to the lower back and I want you to feel the shoulder blades already drawing together. On your next inhale, bring that left arm, sweep it wide and bring it to a salute position. Collarbones broad. As you exhale, turn your head to the right, sweep the hand again to the lower back. One more time, practice the arm movements. Inhale, right arm to salute, shoulder blades together. And exhale, wide arm sweep, head to the left. We're gonna add the opposite leg. So left arm, right leg, inhale, lift up. And exhale, release back down. Right arm, left leg, inhale, up. And exhale, back down. One more time, each side. Right leg, left arm, inhale, shoulder blades together. Lift the heart up even more. Exhale, release back down. Left leg, right arm, inhale, coming up. And exhale, release. Go ahead and pause for a moment. Relax the breath and bring your feet nice and wide. So about mat distance apart. So we're going to stay lifted and work both legs. From here, I want you to draw your belly in, pubic bone grounded. And as you inhale, lift both legs and sweep the arms up into that salute position. Now stay here as you exhale, squeeze the legs all the way together and then squeeze the elbows down towards the ribs. Yes. And then inhale, wide legs, heads, hands to salute and exhale squeeze so you can feel that hip action here two more times stay lifted if you can inhale wide legs hands to salute and exhale squeeze one more time inhale wide legs exhale squeeze the legs all the way together and then go ahead and release all the way down bring your palms by the shoulders forehead to the floor little yoga push-up to come all the way to our hands and knees again. And readjust so that you have knee padding again, palms under the shoulders this time. And again, we're gonna do that, it's called wheel pose, chakra vakasana. So look at your palms, make sure the fingers are spread wide, palms are under the shoulders. Nice deep inhale, lift the heart forward. And then as you exhale, tilt the tailbone under, releasing back. Stretch the lower back, elbows and head resting to the ground. Inhale forward again. And exhaling back. Two more times. Come forward on your inhale. Feel both sides of the body working equally here, moving back on the exhale. Last time. And exhale. Release all the way, rest the breath, and come to a comfortable position to watch again. So the action, actually you can come to the knees for a second. The action of the twist in this next pose, go ahead and bring the left arm forward. It's kind of like this action, but we're on the ground. So we're looking for a stretch right behind the shoulder blades. Now, we're also doing a neck turn, and I just want you to see, you can relax for a moment, what I'm talking about. We're going to sweep that same arm underneath and we're looking for a stretch. Now, I want you to keep this elbow bent for stability and your neck and shoulders aren't totally collapsed. You're actually using the arm muscles there and you're kind of bringing the face towards the sky as much as you can to find that stretch. And then to come up and out, I'm actually using that arm, okay? So let's start on our hands and knees. Let's start by sweeping now the right arm underneath the left. Left elbow is bent. Find support in the back of the head. So some part of the skull is touching the ground. Face is towards the sky. And keep reaching the right fingertips even more further away. 
just so you can find a stretch. Drop that right shoulder away from the ear. Breathe. Feel that left palm supported on the ground as you push yourself back to your hands and knees. We're going to do each side twice. Left arm sliding under. Again, take a moment. This side might feel a little different. Drop that left shoulder down away from the ear. Feel what part of the skull is touching the mat. Face towards the sky. Nice deep breath. Stability in the right palm, pushing your up, you up when you're ready. Now last time, first side. Maybe you can move deeper in a stretch, never force, just breathe into what feels good. Again, where you are needing a little more space and open, another deep breath. Breathe into it. And then coming back up. Last time, left arm under. Again, find where you can create a little more space on this side. Breathe into that space behind the shoulder blade. Another nice deep breath. And then pushing yourself all the way up. This time we're going to pause in child's pose. Let's bring the forehead to the floor or to the block. And we're going to stay here, palms back by the, the ankles. So not all of the yoga poses were documented in the Vedas, but this one was. So this one is like a 5,000 year old pose, child's pose. And so you want to feel the tailbone dropping back. Yeah, we'll take our touchy here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to give you a little neck and shoulder rub right here. Mm -hmm. So the reason why this pose is so um, nourishing is you have the forehead supported. So the mind, our thoughts, supported by the earth. And then there's this gentle pressure in of the belly as it's invited to relax in towards the lower back, nourishing our digestive system. Stay for four more breaths, but we're going to add a little something with each exhale. I want you to silently own in your mind. So for four repetitions. For your last repetition, slowly come up. And we're going to come onto the ground for a little bridge pose. And I'll actually just move my mat so you can see the spinal roll. I love this pose because it almost massages the whole spine. Go ahead and bring your blanket out long ways. And we're going to use a block in today's variation. So have a block nearby. And you want to make sure there's no creases in the blanket because you're rolling the spine up and down. You want it to be straight. So go ahead and just watch for a moment. So the block's going to be in the inner thighs. Feet are underneath the sit bones. Now as you come up, you're going to tuck the tailbone under by zipping up the lower abdominal. You're going to squeeze the inner thighs as you lift your hips up. You're going to use the upper arms today. You're going to push into the floor to lift a little higher. And I want you to tuck the chin in, flatten the back of the neck. That's where it's really good for the thyroid gland. And then as you exhale, you're going to roll down first, starting with the upper body, 
thin mid part of the spine, and then at the very end, the tailbone relaxes, okay? So let's take a moment, place the block between your inner thighs, and I'm just gonna check for alignment. So you want your feet on the mat, not on the blanket. So go ahead and lie down. And if you can walk your feet in a little closer to your butt, that's great. But if you feel discomfort in the knees, you can walk them a little bit away. You can bring your heels a little closer to each other. And then the action of stability is that squeezing of the block. Yeah. Now, from here, I, before we begin, I want you just to practice when you're lying on your ground. I want you to zip up the abdominals from the pubic bone to the navel so much that that action is what flattens the lower back to the ground. And then go ahead and relax that, feel the natural curve to the lower back. And we're going to, again, zip up the abdominals. Now push into the uh, soles of the feet, lift the hips up, and roll up vertebra by vertebra into bridge pose. Yeah, coming all the way up, push through the feet. Now stay lifted and bend your elbows. Feel the upper arms pushed into the ground. Lift the hips up even higher here. Tuck the chin. Nice deep inhale here. And then as you exhale, go ahead and roll down, relaxing the arms and roll down vertebra by vertebra. Again, legs energize. Squeeze the block. Inhale, coming up. Tuck the chin, push the upper arms into the ground, and then exhale, release vertebra by vertebra. Two more times. Up on your inhale, and down on the exhale. Last time, we're going to stay lifted. Inhale, coming up. Now this time, you can... Interlace the fingers underneath, straightening the arms, or you can hold on energetically to the sides of the mat. Keep pushing the upper arms into the ground. Stay here for four more breaths. Feel the energy in this pose as the legs are strengthening. Keep tucking the tailbone under and squeezing the block. Make sure you're breathing. And on this next exhale, roll down first with the upper part of the back, then the middle, and then relax the tailbone, place the block to the side, and hug your knees into your chest. The fingertips are light on the knees. As you inhale, move the knees arm distance away. As you exhale, draw your belly in to bring the knees in. Three more times. Now this time, go ahead and keep the knees hugged all the way in. Bring your arms out to the side for a lying down twist, palms face down. Now you're going to draw your belly in as you exhale and twist the legs over to one direction. Stay for your inhale. Your head can turn the opposite direction. And then as you exhale, come back up to center. Bring the knees in using the abdominal. Stay for your inhale. Palms are down to support you. And then again, exhale, twist the opposite Direction, option, head twists the opposite way that your knees are facing. Stay for your inhale. And then exhale, come back up to center with abdominal support. Head to center. Again, twist as you exhale, first side. And go ahead and stay here. Bring your palms face up. If you have problems with the knees touching the ground, remember you can always use a block right underneath the knees if that feels better. 
So with the palms up, I want you to again feel the arms as extensions of the heart center. Your head can turn any direction that feels best. And four nice deep breaths. I want you to focus again as you exhale. Feel a little more twisting in the belly. And then on your next exhale, after a four breath stay, draw your belly in, bring your palms down first for that stability, bring your knees in. And on the exhale, twist to the opposite way. Again, option palms up. Fingers extending out from the heart center, away from the heart. Focus again on the exhale. And with each exhale, feel the belly twisting a little more, releasing deeper in the twist. Let's do two more breaths. Palms face down for stability. On your next exhale, draw the belly in, bring your knees back into the chest. This time, arms down by your hips. Knees stay hugged in. And as you inhale, extend your heels towards the sky, arms overhead to the floor. As you exhale, draw your belly in, bring your arms back down to the hips, bend the knees into the chest. And again, inhale, heels towards the sky, fingers reaching away from you along the ground. You can bend the elbows, exhale, bend the knees and bring the arms back down two more times. Try to keep the whole lower back connected into the ground as the arms extend up on the inhale. And again, bending on the exhale. So this next time we're going to stay in that extended pose. Inhale, extend. Now here, if you need to bend your elbows, go ahead and do that. There's tension in the neck and shoulders. We're gonna stay for four more breaths. I want you to feel the core engage. So with each exhale, try to draw the belly in towards the lower back. Feel both sides of the body working equally here. From your fingertips all the way to your toes. And then from here, go ahead and bring your arms back down, hug the knees in. And then the feet are going to come down to the ground. We're going to open up the knees out to the side. Touch your soles of the feet together. And I want you to feel the difference if you just relax the legs completely. Or if you push the feet in towards each other, can you feel both inner thighs become alive? glute muscles engage, so your butt muscles as well. Now again here, I want you to feel that engagement as you slowly start to bring the legs together. So you're gonna maybe even feel a little quiver in the inner thighs, which is good. Start to bring the legs all the way together until the soles of the feet rest to the ground and the knees are touching. So with the breath, sure. inhale, open the legs out, soles of the feet touching, Create that resistance with the soles of the feet, and then exhale, draw the belly in, slowly bring the legs together. Keep that whole orchestra of the pelvis working. I'm gonna do that four more times. Opening on the inhale, add that abdominal support as you exhale. Slowly bring the legs together. And inhale, open. 
to create that resistance on your own, just keep the hands to the side. Again, each exhale, push the soles of the feet together. Try to work both legs equally. Two more times. Inhale, and closing on the exhale. This last time when the knees are all the way touching, go ahead and bring the knees back into the chest. And this time I just want you to rock from side to side. Give your lower back a little massage. You can circle the knees around the sacrum. Move the opposite direction if you're circling. And then keep the knees hugged in. Go ahead and rock yourself over to one side to come up. So we're going to move into a yummy relaxation here. And I'm going to show you some choices um, to lie down. So one variation for the head support is just a little pillow and then your head would be resting in there. I really like something called a cervical neck roll because so many people were kind of doing this position with computers these days. The cervical neck roll allows the natural curve to, of the, the cervical spine, the neck, just to relax. So there's just this beautiful opening in the throat center. So to create this roll, you take a blanket and make as straight of a roll as possible, just about halfway. Now and then, if your spine, if you need it, you could place a blanket underneath. Like some of these mats are thicker, mm -hmm. so you, I mean, you might not need a blanket underneath. But we'll kind of first come onto the back and just see what support you need. There also is the bolsters which go under the knees or a blanket. A nice test is just when the legs are extended away, do you feel a little too much of an arch in the lower back? And same with the neck roll, you can just scan the body for a moment, just how we began, from the crown of the head. And if you need to make any adjustments to the head support, go ahead and do that. And we'll come around and get some extra support. How's your lower back? Does it feel like it wants a little blanket underneath it? It actually feels pretty good. Okay. There's a little bit of space there. As long as it feels... It touches more on the left than the right. Oh, that's a good observation. Yeah. I think if, for today, if it's comfortable, let's just feel that kind of earth connection of yeah. where the body's touching. And so for this relaxation, I want you just to scan the body one more time for areas that need a little more adjustment or movement. So everybody should be in Shavasana. Some kind of Corpse position is actually the translation. So with your eyes closed, just feel what part of your body are, is touching the ground. And surrender even deeper into those areas. Now even the bones themselves sink towards the earth. There's nothing you need to do in this moment. Let the natural sounds around you be absorbed effortlessly by the ears. Again, just receiving the sounds. So 
and with the feeling of the air touching your skin, let the air caress you effortlessly. Just absorb that gentle touch. every cell of your body now, being cradled by the earth herself, being nourished and nurtured in this moment. Let everything go. And just listen to the natural sounds around you. Song of the birds. And sending your own vibration out for this day. Feel your own rhythm of the breath and the sound that you're naturally making in this moment. Take a couple deep breaths to return from wherever you've been, bringing this nourishment with you. To invite movement into the fingers and toes. Just moving slowly, you can circle the wrists and ankles. And when you're ready to transition, first bend your knees and roll to one side in a curled up fetal position. Pause there for a couple breaths. You place your top palm on the ground and use that to push yourself up slowly, keeping the neck and shoulders relaxed. And again, just how we began, let's sit on an elevated blanket. support any blocks under the knees. Closing the eyes. Feeling the 
the physical body a, a little more ready to sit here. The hips a little more open, the legs more grounded. And the spine effortlessly a little taller. And the heart more open. Take a moment to send a heartfelt prayer out into this world. Whatever speaks to you in this moment. Feel your prayer resonating out from your heart center. Imagine our hearts united, creating a group heart. And we'll end just as we began with three ohms. This time let's visualize that vibration that we create together. Again, just resonating out to the whole world and encircling the whole earth. And if you'd like, you can place the hands to the heart. So you can feel that vibration. So let's take a nice deep inhale together. Oh. Again, inhale. this day ahead. Let your palms touch each other now with the heart. Namaste.